take it bit by bit. You know, so uh, teach uh, uh, not hand a, a, a monk, you know, the, says, puts, has this to say about the present moment. It says the present moment is the only time over which we have dominion, right? The present moment is the only time over which we have dominion. The present moment is the only time over which we have dominion. You don't have dominion over your yesterday. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. There's nothing you can do about it. It's gone. Yes, we do all this sci-fi stuff. I see if you people can do time travel. But it's sci-fi. It's not reality. In reality, you have no control over your yesterday. Whatever happened to you yesterday, whatever you did yesterday, you cannot undo it. It is gone. You have no control over it. It is gone. The only thing you can do something about is your today. You're now. You're now. You're now. You're now. You're now. You're now. That's what you can do something about. Not yesterday. You have no control over your tomorrow, right? At least you have no direct control over your tomorrow. First of all, you're not even guaranteed you're going to be a part of that tomorrow. There's no guarantee you're going to sleep and wake up tonight. There's no guarantee the world won't end today. So you have no control over it. You know, so scripturally, you know, uh, I believe that's, uh, uh, what was that talking about? Uh, is it the Apostle Jude or Apostle James? Uh, I was talking, no, I believe it's the Apostle Jude, you know, talking about people saying that we should be humble. We should be humble. Don't just say, tomorrow, this is us. Oh, 2024, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going <laughs> to, who guarantees you? Who says you're going to be in 2024? Don't be boastful about what you don't know of. A dear friend of mine, um, my beloved dear friend, you know, after the father died, you know, the father was sick and the father died. That became so important to her. That became a watchword for her. Everything she says, if the Lord wills. Because she probably had so much belief that her father will be in her future. So much belief that her father will be in her future. But his life was cut, was cut short. The father died. So that, that, that became something that was big in her heart. That became a pain, you know, that that that, that left her with, that, with, with treasure in that word. If the Lord wills. If the Lord wills. If God wills. None of us has control of our tomorrow. I love to do the father-daughter dance with my daughters at their wedding. I love to. But I got to put that clause. If the Lord wills, if I'm alive, if this world is still there, I pray that they are also there. Right? We don't have control of our tomorrow. We can plan for it. Yes, we can plan for it. We can do everything that we need to do to plan for it. But we don't have control of it. The best we can do to hopefully affect or affect our tomorrow, which we, we can affect, even though we don't have full control over it is to make the best of our today, our now. What you do in the now is what will determine your tomorrow. What you do in the now can overwhelm your yesterday. You cannot change it, but it can overwhelm your yesterday. Our power is in the now. It's not in the tomorrow. The power we have in the tomorrow is based on the power that we have today. If we have no power today, we cannot have power tomorrow. Right? So... Teach, teach, uh, not her uh, says it very rightly. The present moment, the now is the only time over which you have dominion. Make the best of it. Make the best of it. Your today is the is the, is the all that you have. Make the best of it. Your tomorrow will only be as good as what you did today. Don't be like those people that say tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. Tomorrow never comes. Tomorrow never comes. It only comes for those that use their today. Today is when we have the power. The, the, today is when we have a dominion. What we do today is what will determine our tomorrow. What we do today is what will, 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 will overwhelm our yesterday. 
We don't have power over yesterday. We don't have control over tomorrow. But we have power. We have control over now. We can decide what to do now. Because what we do now will affect our tomorrow. That's where we'll make a difference in our tomorrow. So now the present moment is where your power is. If you want your 2024 to be great, it's only going to be great if you are using today well. If you are finishing 2023 well, how you finish your 2023 will determine how your 2024 will be. You don't postpone everything to 2024. You are not going to enjoy 2024 if you do that. You have to make the best of the remaining days of 2023. The, how good, how well you make the best of the remaining 2023 will determine how your 2024 will be. You need to begin to maximize time, maximize opportunity, maximize preparation, set the foundation upon which you want to write in 2024. Today, not tomorrow, today. So the present moment is the only is a, is the only time over which you have dominion. Make the best 